Grasshopper did well again. Well, we headed out to Bethesda Lakes this evening and started out in the back pond, or correction, the horseshoe pond uh, with the grasshopper and uh, didn't get any takers there, so uh, just uh, checked out the canal and got a couple of um, sunfish to take on the uh, grasshopper. Did see a bunch of little guys that we normally get on the micro fly rod, but this time we brought our five weight and the uh, size eight grasshopper in hopes of some bass. And well, we didn't really want to change our uh, fishing fly. Just want to just check out uh, what was in the uh, canal. Um, and of course we did get a couple of take. So then uh, we went to the lower pond just by the base of the waterfall. Found a few bluegill and shellcracker in their beds and were able to get them to uh, hook up uh, on the grasshopper. So here's a bluegill on the grasshopper. Next one up was a, um, I believe this one's another bluegill. Almost got away on us. Or it looks like a mix, but bottom line, another uh, nice looking one. And this one's close to the uh, bank. We just stepped about uh, 10 feet away and dropped the uh, uh, grasshopper there and got this little shell, or the, the shell cracker to take. This next one turned out to be a pretty nice looking bluegill, bigger than the palm of our hand. Not a bad looking bluegill. And he decided to go and walk around the uh, lower pond and ended up hooking up with a bass. a good fight. Ended up releasing this one. And uh, got another bluegill to take on this next one. Another pretty nice size uh, bluegill as well. And then uh, we continue to fish the lower pond and got another bass to take. Almost in the same places where we got the uh, other bass. Not a bad looking one. So then we uh, headed back to the main pond and while we were casting about and whatnot, let the uh, grasshopper sit for just a uh, few seconds and well, during that time this bass took it. And then we were at the uh, back pond and saw some fish working in the shallows and whatnot and able to get the, this guy. This one turned out to be our biggest one, maybe about 13 inches or so. And then back to the main pond, you got a little guy to go ahead and take. This one's a bass. And then our last one is another bass, just the base of the cypress tree in the main pond. Put up a good fight. Not bad. All right, till next time, we'll catch you all later. Good luck and good fishing.